Hi guys, this is Dano from Hidden Bigfoot Research Labs, and today I am out in the junkyard pulling a radiator for a, I think it's a 96 through 2000 Dodge Caravan. And to get it out and see it, you want to make sure both hoses are on the same side, which on this one it is a different engine, but I think it's the same radiator. Let's see, this is the three liter. I just going into the 3.3 I believe I believe this is gonna work so yeah 96 through 2000 the part store told me that one radiator has it on both sides one told me there's a hole on each I believe that's right so to pull this out I'm gonna pull this little cross member off and do all these little plastic bolts so I'll do all that and then we'll see about lifting it up and getting it out I don't have much battery so I'm just gonna record here and there Actually, I pulled the cover off and it may be a lot easier than it looked. Because now I can see there's a bolt there, a bolt there, star head, star head. So I need to get the holes off, which I can get to it there. What about the bottom one? And then get to it right there. I can kind of see it. I may have to take that off. It may be easier just to pull this cross member out. Yeah, I'm going to take this cross member out. Because I gotta disconnect that bracket. I guess I'm gonna take this bracket off. It goes to the dryer for the AC. Now I'm gonna lift that cross member up, slide it out of the way. And see, now I can get to my radiator, all the brackets, all the blue bolts. Yeah, that cross member did have to come out so I could reach everything. But I've got the hoses off. I got this side of the fan off. Now I just gotta take this side off, pull those that bolt. I think there's one more. Yeah, right there. Pull that off and then it should just lift out. Oh, I gotta disconnect the condenser from it too. Or also, this bolt over here out. Now I gotta take this bolt right there out. All right, I believe I got it all disconnected. It should just kind of slide up and around. And this fan, oh, what a mess. I'm about to pull the radiator out. I believe I got it all disconnected. Watch out for the AC lines right there. And the fan, looks like it's gotta go with it, but this one's all busted and being a pain. Uh, I'm gonna need both hands, but it's it just gonna come up straight, kinda wiggle in and out of the lines. All right, it's out. Now, disconnect it from the fan here. Cause I don't need that. Right. And now we got it right here. Check the tanks for cracks. Check the coils for holes. You can even shoot air in it and make sure it uh, don't bubble out. But yeah, this one looks good. All right. Now, to put it together, do what we did in reverse. Put the fan back on. Uh, slip it in around the condenser lines. Watch out for those. It's probably a pain when you're doing uh, put the nuts and the bolts back all in where you need them. Put your hoses all back. Make sure you get your top transmission line to the top, your bottom to the bottom. Both lines go to the side. Yeah, we're good. Alright guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe and check out my other videos. I know this wasn't a great one, but I was kind of in a hurry. And I gotta run to town and take it before it gets dark. I'm not gonna take my camera with me, the battery's dead. But yeah, this is this is definitely how you do it. Alright guys, thanks. Lates.